Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I have a question for you. Do I look or sound any different to you in this video compared to other videos? Well, don't answer that question yet. Save it till later. But the reason I'm asking is because in this video, we're going to be testing out my new camera, the DJI Osmo Action. We're here at a location that I featured once before. This is the abandoned coal breaker that I featured and filmed with Cliff before. But this time we're not going to be focusing on the location, more so on the performance of the camera. So while we're doing this video, I'm going to be holding it on a selfie stick like I am right now. I'm going to mount it to my chest mount here to get some point of view action. And we're also going to do some audio tests. So I want you to pay attention to the stability of the, of the footage to see how stable it is, if it's any jerky or shakiness. The clarity to see if it brings everything into focus and you can see everything clear and precise. And also audibly, I'm going to use the onboard microphone like I am right now. Later on, I'm going to test out the external Purple Panda microphone to see if there's a difference in audio clarity and performance. So come along with me as we have some fun playing with the DJI Osmo Action Camera. There's a look at the structure. We've got some fresh snowfall here too, so things may look a bit different from last time. I'm also not alone. You'll see some people here. RJ's here, Alan, and Mike from Out Naturing. But we're going to walk around, just do a brief exploration, and see how the camera performs in bright light, low light, walking around, close-ups, and some other various footage so nothing fancy with this video but i do want to hear your feedback because this will be a camera i'm utilizing in the future for some underwater footage and some maybe roller coasters as they mount it to my chest and some other cool things i was never able to do before Now here we are with some low light. It is lit up behind me, darker in front of me. So we're going to see how the camera adjusts as I move around to see if it highlights my face or not. <clears throat> also, this is a fixed angle lens. I'm not able to zoom in at all. I can only crop the image in post editing. But for the most part, this is a super wide angle look. Should be able to encompass everything in the frame and at the same time provide some pretty crisp footage. So on the stairs to nowhere. Yeah, I was gonna walk across the beam to get to that other staircase, but there's a whole second floor over there where that um, overhead crane is. But I'm I'm... walk on it, but it doesn't look like that floor is real safe. This is a shell of a building, was still pretty cool, but this is a relatively semi-modern coal breaker. As we mentioned last time, trucks would roll through here. There's multiple chutes which would dispense different sizes of coal, from fine to large chunks, depending on the customer's order. So just remember, as we're walking through, pay attention to the stability, see if it's shaking around or not. Make sure you hear my audio to see if it's coming through clearly. There are two onboard microphones, so it should be able to pick me up relatively well. But I think we'll notice a, a more clearer difference once I attach my lapel purple panda mic. But for general use though, for action sports, I want to see how these onboard microphones do perform. Yes, yeah, so if you go in there, that's where RJ is. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold the bottom is yeah. Oh, is this the thing that feeds the coal? It's it's one of them. It's um there's different there's different hoppers in there that separate and screens based on the size of the coal. <laughs> this is a small one compared to the other ones. Level. 
Okay, so as you may or may not be able to tell, I am using the external microphone now. So you should notice my voice probably a bit louder, maybe clearer, less background noise. So this would be perfect audio conditions for normal circumstances, but for action use, you won't be using this lapel microphone, but for vlogging and some stationary shots. And what we're doing today, as long as you don't submerge the camera, it's perfectly suitable. So we'll use this for a little bit while, and then later on we're gonna mount it right here, and we'll see how the audio is then, and the performance as a point of view camera. You should be able to feel like you're climbing around this place with me, or as if you're actually standing in my place right here. Never like these steps here. I do feel a little bit better because I've been here before and I know it holds me. Here's the door. And this is the cool part of the building here. You get the upper workings where the conveyor is, the sorter, the washing table. All right, so I'm gonna actually mount you right now on my chest mount. We're gonna dismount the external microphone and we'll get some point of view footage as we kind of monkey around, climb around some of these catwalks and check out the different structures. And along the way, I'll give you some commentary to see how everything looks and sounds. All right, so as you can see, I'm hand three right now. You are mounted to my chest. So let's walk around. I'm gonna try to walk slow and steady so it's not too shaky or jittery. A chunk of coal right here. Let me know too, based on the angle, if you guys could see everything appropriately or if you think it should be angled down more or up more, because I can't see right now because it is against my chest. But also pay attention to how my voice sounds. I'm talking above the camera now as compared to behind here in front of it. I'll tell you, my legs are a little shaky because of you being out there. I, I can't look anymore. Okay, so one of the perfect things we're gonna be able to do, am I still filming? Yeah. We're gonna be able to climb the ladder without having to hold the camera. <laughs> Get caught in my backpack here. Not too terribly far. I know I bumped the camera a few times on the ladder. Is that the way down also? Uh, kinda. I went down that way last time and I fell and slid halfway down. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we're picking back up with the video. I did attach the external microphone now. And you see I'm still hands-free. It is mounted to my chest. So we're going to see, based on this footage today, what is the best combination, chest mount or hand mount with the selfie stick, and if it's any better using the external microphone. But for some of the adventures I have planned this summer, though, especially including going in the water, this may be the best setup minus the external microphone. And my left boot down here is completely soaking wet because on our way through here, I stepped on what was believed to be solid ground and ended up being ice, which I broke through. And of course there's water underneath it. So not the best conditions right now for footwear, but it was definitely unintentional. the worst set of steps. I hate this. Ugh. And this is rotted here. Look at it. Okay, so we are exiting the building now. Right now I'm using the extended selfie stick here I get a further reach which should put me at a wider angle here should be able to see much more of what I'm doing and just another alternative for filming with this action camera which I'm so glad I'm using it today because I actually almost fell down twice the camera took a tumble but better that than my actual phone <sighs> so we got I'm gonna take them over to show them the other structure now the other sorting plant so we got a little bit of a distance to cover so I think for that, we will try the hyperlapse mode. Did you go down? I think people are falling it's slippery here. We're gonna try the hyperlapse mode to see how that looks and performs. It's also a slow motion feature on here too. If I can find something to demonstrate that with, I will do that later. And there's... Man down! Man down! Oh, I'm so glad I'm filming right now. <laughs> oh god! Before I go all the way down, if I knew you were gonna fall, I would have put it in slow motion. <laughs> I can't help but to laugh. I'm sorry, man. I fell twice already, so I could laugh. Oh, God. So we got multiple <laughs> angles here. Don't, don't rely on that tree branch. <laughs> oh, man. This is why boots and gloves are recommended. All right, let's make our way down safely so we don't repeat what he did. Watch it. I do appreciate it. That's a dog that Cliff found last time. Just a quick mention too, which I see in all the videos I do collaborate with, with other friends and YouTubers. If you want to see their footage of any location that they are featured in my videos, just check down below in the description for their video links. This is my second time here. This is their first time there. So you'll be able to see how it looks through their eyes. And I put my hand on a very wet, piece of beam and now that's cold and wet but despite that won't have it any other way it's part of the experience so next segment you're going to see now is going to be hyperlapse we're going to make our way to the next location i'm going to hold it on the selfie stick here and we'll see how it looks it's kind of a sped up traverse over to the next building
Okay, so that was the hyperlapse feature. I'm not sure how it's going to look until I see it in the editing, but that allows you to almost do like a time lapse, but it's supposed to have stability built in. So we're able to get from point A to point B in three to four seconds. This is the next structure here. Uh, this is another sorting plant. Again, I'm not going to show you much of detail because this was covered in my last video, but just want to test out the camera again to see how it looks compared to last time and give you a brief look at it. And I don't know if we will be able to do slow motion in this video. If not, I will definitely do a demonstration of it in a future video. But the guys are over here getting things set up. Alan's going to fly his drone and I'll take you for a little walk through here. So let's keep moving. So here's the man way. Get over the bar and make your way up the steps. Open door policy. Here we are. In case you're wondering, this is the exit. But we are at the bottom of a hopper up there which turns into a shaker chute and last time I showed I will demonstrate this chute actually moves the shaker table so kind of cool it's still functional He's looking at more of the processing area, another large flywheel. And I said what it looks like a roller coaster is actually a sorting table, they said. If you look at all the PVC piping, those are water jets to spray and clean the material. No problem there. No water tanks. There's RJ, top of the conveyor. Crazy guy. I was going to bring my drone, but just wanted to focus on the camera today. But it's a good thing he brought his so we could see some pretty cool aerial footage. And Mike's up there too with him. Okay guys, so that was my testing of my new DJI Osmo Action Sport Camera, Action Camera. I had a lot of fun using it today, completely different from using my Galaxy S10 Plus smartphone or my Panasonic video camera. Obviously it's much more compact, lightweight, it's the size of a GoPro, and it's basically the number one GoPro competitor right now. It does have a front facing camera, which I'm using right now to frame the shot. And I'm using the, again, onboard microphones for this, so hopefully it is picking me up enough, if not, I know that I'm going to have to either stand closer to it or use the external mic more often. But I definitely want your feedback. Let me know what you thought of everything today as far as stability, making sure it wasn't too shaky or wobbly, make sure it wasn't pixelated, if everything was nice and crisp and clear and focused, and how my voice sounded both on the selfie stick, on my chest mount, and with and without the external microphone. And I'm really excited to use this in the future for a lot more adventures and some cool perspectives, roller coaster footage, underwater footage some more exploring and venturing and I think it's gonna be a great tool to use alongside with my other two cameras even for b-roll and some different point of view shots so looking forward to your feedback I will definitely check back in your comments and answer any questions that you do have if you'd like to get one for yourself I will leave a link down below in the description it's a pretty affordable sport camera it is waterproof up to 30 feet um, it comes with the SD card two rechargeable batteries and I did buy some accessories for it to make the filming a little bit easier for this adventure. Uh, if you want any more information on anything, just feel free to ask. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much for watching today. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.